comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Ranking Spider-Man. Finally, this is kind of delayed. You guys know me. I love Spider-Man. He's my favorite superhero of all time. And I'm, I've seen every movie, of course. Um, and I'm going to rank every single movie today. Now, I haven't done a ranking video since Mission Impossible, I think. And the reason why is just because no release has really deserved a ranking. I, I almost ranked Harry Potter. The only reason why I didn't was because I, it was a really busy time. I had Thanksgiving break. It was like a really busy final week. So yeah, but I have like, tw I have like, okay, so I'm doing this now right now because I have barely enough time to edit and release this video. It's not going to come on in the day I'm recording it, of course, because I still have a couple things. I'm not going to finish it now. But we're going to rank every single Spider-Man movie, all eight of them specifically. And you might be thinking, there's seven of them? Actually, no, I'm going to include Venom today because it is a, it's a Spider-Man movie. It's part of the Spider-Verse, I guess, if you will. It's part of the Web-Verse, so I'm considering it a Spider-Man movie. That's like kind of considering uh, Homecoming an Iron Man movie, but I, but let's just say that I'm going to be ranking all the Spider-Man movies today, including Venom. So let's get right into ranking every Spider-Man movie. And speaking of which... Always come at a cost. Of course, my least favorite Spider-Man movie is the one of the more recent ones, Venom. I really, really didn't like Venom. I know a lot of people really love this movie, and I totally see why. I, I s didn't hate it while watching it. I, I I quite had a good time actually watching it, but it wasn't for thinking it was good. I think this movie's pretty. It's garbage. It's utter garbage. The characters are boring. The plot is bad. The action is not really easy to tell what's going on. It's incoherent. It has plot holes here and there everywhere. There is definitely more bad about this movie than there is good. Which is surprising because normally number seven would be the worst Spider-Man movie. But in my opinion, I just really hate Venom. I just think it's a bad, just bad movie. I just don't like this movie at all. But I'm going to check it out again when it goes to DVD because maybe I'll like it when it goes to DVD. Who knows? I probably won't. But sadly, this is going to be in the honorable mentions for the worst of the year. So yeah. But I really did not like Venom. Oh my god, what went wrong with Spider-Man 3? This is like... Okay, so the other two Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, I'll get to those later, but the other two Spy Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, I really like, I really like both of them. I love Spider-Man 2. And then Spider-Man 3 kind of happens, and it's, it just kind of sucks. Like, the only reason why I'm putting this one above Venom is just because I think Venom's the worst movie, and it's more of a failure. Just more of this big, chaotic failure is what Venom is. Spider-Man 3 has elements I liked out of it. I am not going to say I hated everything out of Spider-Man 3. I definitely disliked more than I liked, but I didn't hate Spider-Man 3. I thought, I didn't like Venom, I didn't like Sam, I didn't like really much about this movie. But I think, I think yes, there's some cool action scenes. It's not a good movie. It's not that far away from Venom. But, you know, it's been destroyed to death. So, it's really hard to insult this movie when everyone's insulted it. Sadly, number six, I think, yeah, number six, sadly, this movie was not that far away from number seven. I know a lot of people really like The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and not a lot of people really don't like it, and I'm one of those people who do doesn't like this movie. I used to kind of like it, but I thought it was okay. When I first saw it, like most people, I thought it was just okay. But the more you think about it, the more you realize, okay, you got all these villains, you got a dumb twist in the end. There are elements of this movie I quite love, like the elements of the ending of this movie. I won't spoil it, but the ending, not the ending battle, but the end. You know what I'm talking about. The end of the third act, but the beginning until the beginning of the cliffhanger. That is my favorite part of this entire movie. I thought I loved that part. It's just so well done. Then everything else I just don't like. I just don't like anything else about this movie. I don't really like... The, I like. I mean, I like, the, I like the characters, I guess, but I, I thought Jamie Foxx's Electro was okay. I didn't... I just thought... I thought I was just, just really disappointed by a lot of the actions, a lot of the villains. Like, I thought Green Goblin was 
bad. I don't really like Green Goblin on this movie. I didn't really like... I'm just particular when I'm watching this movie. I'm just thinking, I'm particularly bored when watching a Spider-Man movie. This is the only Spider-Man movie. I mean, I guess Spider-Man 3 is boring, but it hits so bad it's good more than once. This movie doesn't. The only reason why I'm not saying... This movie does this a couple of scenes in this movie. The one part that I really love, and then there's a couple of action scenes in this movie that are pretty freaking awesome with Spider-Man flipping around and doing stuff, which is almost why, which is pretty much the reason why I put this at number six. But still, not my movie. I really don't like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, also, a lot of people love The Amazing Spider-Man for some reason. I don't hate this movie. I think it's okay. I don't rewatch it ever. I've seen it like twice before. I do not. This is one I don't really care about that much. And the reason why is just because it's nothing that new. I mean, it's a new villain and stuff, sure. But you've seen the Uncle Ben story already. You see, it's basically the Sam Raimi Spider. Yeah, Sam Raimi Spider Man just just done all over again. Except we got a new villain this time. Not an interesting villain. Not an interesting plot. It's not very interesting of a movie. It's not. It's not bad. It has good action scenes. Just. I just don't really like a lot about this movie. I, I think it's more, slightly more good than it is bad, but the script is dumb. A lot of the, the, the ending of this movie I don't really like. God, you, you, you realize that a lot of these Spider-Man movies I don't like. And that's not, that's just saying most franchises, a lot of the entries I don't like, other than Harry Potter. Only one for, in, for inch, entry in that franchise I don't like. And, and Marvel, I don't like, dislike any entries into that franchise. But in franchises like Star Wars, now Spider-Man, there's always going to be a bad entry. And there's... This is not a bad entry, but I don't think it's a good entry either. Number four. This is finally where we get to the good stuff. Number four is Sam Raimi's original Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man 1 is... It's a classic. It, it is a classic. And I love this movie. I don't know if I love it. I still give it like an 8 out of 10 because I do think there's the campiness. There's some dumb stuff in it. But it... It works because it's, you care about the characters. You care about how um, you care about how Peter ends and gets out in the end. You care about everything. You like Uncle Ben. You like um, you, you like Aunt May. You you just you just like the characters and you care about them. That's why this movie works so well is because the characters are interesting and it's a well done good movie. I don't know if I liked the Green Goblin design on the suit, but overall I liked the Green Goblin as a villain too. I thought ah what the heck whatever uh, ah. The, the cord fell off, whatever. I like the Rain Goblin as a villain. I thought he was interesting. I thought his character was well done. You felt sympathy for him. The ending of this movie is good. Overall, I think this is a great movie. I really enjoy this movie. Alright, so the top three for a lot of people switches around a lot. And most people are either going to put this movie at number two or number one. I put it at number three, mainly because I don't have the insane nostalgia connection to it. But number three for me is, of course, Spider-Man 2. Like I said in the beginning, I love Spider-Man 2. And I stand by that fact. I absolutely love this movie. The reason why this movie works so good is you have a great villain, Doc Ock. You have great action, like the train scene. You have a great, great, believable relationship between M MJ and Peter. You have great relationships. You have just so good character development. Oh my god, I love the characters in the movie. Like, you take the good characters of the first and you just make them even better in the sequel. Characters in this movie are interesting, exciting, you care about if they make it out in the end. That you know when your movie's good, if you care about when the, if the characters are going to be alive at the end. And you really do. It really is good at, like, fleshing out Peter's character really good. This is the best development I've seen a Spider-Man be. That includes Into the Spider-Verse and Homecoming. It stretches the character out so well. And I think that I love this movie so much. It is so well done. Spider-Man 2, it's one of my favorites. Let's see, do I have it back here? Yeah, I still do. Freaking love this one. Our friends are there. Coming in at number two for me a week, a couple days ago, was number one. But that is Spider-Man Homecoming. Ah, uh, wait, I got it right here. I also really love this movie. I have a review for this one. I don't have reviews of any of these except for this one and Into the Spider-Verse. But I know this movie is a Marvel movie. And it is a Marvel movie. You do get sick of Marvel movies eventually. It is hard to re-watch much more movies back to back. Because you feel the comedy. You feel it kind of getting loose. And I do feel it getting a bit thin. So I'm hoping Captain Marvel is better in that way. Because I don't. Because that kind of Ant-Man and the Wasp kind of proved to me that... 
that a lot of the Marvel movies are putting comedy over story. Nonetheless, Marvel, I, I love Marvel. It might not be my favorite franchise. I think it still might be my favorite franchise just because it's so awesome. But I love Marvel. And I love this movie. It's one of my favorites out of the MCU. Hands down, this movie's awesome. It's so... I just love Peter Parker's... Uh, yeah, Peter Parker's character. I thought Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man. And that stands even after Into the Spider-Verse. He's still my favorite Spider-Man. I thought Tom Holland did great. I love his arc with... A lot of people... I know, I know Nostalgia Critic kept criticizing this, but it's not about Uncle Ben this time. It's about um, Tony Stark, and that, that's what makes Spider-Man whole. Well, I'm glad to see something new. This is a new... Original movie. Well, maybe not totally original. I literally said earlier today it wasn't that original. I guess yesterday I said it wasn't that original. But it is a it is an original. It's an original, new, entertaining, good movie. That's funny. The comedy is great in this movie. The the vulture, Michael Keaton as the vulture, is still my favorite Spider-Man villain and will always be my favorite Spider-Man villain as long as Mysterio. Oh, wait, maybe Mysterio, Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio will be awesome. I cannot. Give me my Far From Home trailer now. Why can't you release the Far From Home trailer with Into the Spider-Verse? Like, wouldn't that would Um, I think this movie is pretty great. I've expressed this opinion in multiple videos, but I love Homecoming. But, wait, this is number one? This was never your city. It's mine. If I don't destroy the collider, none of us will have a home. That is why my favorite Spider-Man film is Into the Spider-Verse. Like, no joke. This is... I said this in my review of it, of course, but... No joke. This is my favorite Spider-Man film. There is absolutely no competition there. This movie is... It's just so good. It's just good. It just go see it. I've talked about it for now... It's 42... Almost an hour, and I... I want to talk about it for longer, and I probably will talk about it for well over an hour on my YouTube channel. Because this might... This might be in my 10 favorite films of all time. That is something, if you're in my 10 favorite films of all time. I loved everything Into the Spider-Verse did. The perfect way to describe this movie is, it works. It is better than, I think, any Marvel movie. Maybe it might be my better than any Marvel movie. It might be my favorite superhero movie. It might be my favorite animated movie. There's just so much about this movie that works. It's probably my second favorite animated movie. I don't know, but there's so much about this movie that works. The characters, Miles Morales, all the characters coming together. Like, there's a, it's a super bizarre movie with <clears throat> Penny Parker. Like, you, you don't care. You would never care. You would never care about Spider-Man Noir, Penny Parker, or Peter Parker. But you do. You care about if they die or not. You care about what's going on. That's why this movie works so well. because you have so many characters. So many insane, crazy characters we care about all of them and it all works it all comes together in this awesome movie which is my favorite spider-man movie to date all right what do you guys think on the spider-man movies what is your ranking of every spider-man movie let me know in the comment section below if you guys are wondering hey where's dj wolf's ranking of the spider-man movies i don't know really i keep asking him he's just saying i'm busy right now so yeah what do you guys think on into the spider verse no we're not talking about that anymore bye yeah you guys don't really have any announcements. You can just go watch some more recent videos for announcements. Bye.